Now, I've, I love this subject too, and I, yeah. I notice there's, there's quite a lot of uh, researchers out there, and I'll often come across, from my armchair point of view, mm. uh, a bunch of research that just is, well, there it is. There's your, there's, there it is. That's your holy grail. They've got it, mm. you know. Mm. And they present it, and it's like, well, uh, no, we're not going to accept that uh, evidence because of whatever trivial reason. Mm. Uh, like uh, one, in, what, my favourite case of uh, cheap debunkery would have to be the Humpty Doo poltergeist case, where Channel Nine went mm. out there to do an interview on these people. They ran out of time in the news cycle, and at the end, they just edited it and said, "No, you faked it. Sorry, we're out." When they had all genuinely experienced yeah. uh, very hardcore phenomena. Um, and but they, they've got all the evidence. But because Channel Nine said, "Oh well, they faked it," um, then that discounted everything. That one word from that that one one source yep. was more powerful than, the than rest of the other all stuff. the scientific quantifiable evidence they got. Yep. Wow. Are you yeah? Are you guys have you had any experiences with that? Or? Um, we've had people on the page just sort of or people saying, "Oh no, no, I haven't really had it to that extreme yeah, where it's right. it's like someone says, "Oh no, you're, it's fake." I hadn't had anyone sort of say, "Oh." You're just hollow fakers, right. and it's it discredited right. stuff we've yeah. done because I'm always up for admitting that I've made mistakes. We're yeah. up for admitting that we've made mistakes. Did you get a lot of backlash sort of on that? Not, not really. Right. Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know. It, I don't know which. I suppose if you be open and truthful, yeah, about yeah. It's, it's all about like, oh, yep, yep, okay, they made a mistake. Everyone yeah. does it, type. Yeah, thing. yeah, and it's, it's not in anyone's interest. No, to, it, when nah, we're we're not here to we're not, we're not here to forge anything or fake yeah. it. We're here to get answers for ourselves right. as well as helping other people get their own answers. And it's I don't see any point. And making or forging this sort of stuff when we, we do it, we, we we use our own money to do this stuff. We're not getting we're not getting yeah. any money from it. No, so like, and this and this so obviously this isn't a, this isn't like your working job. Uh, no, it would, it would it be more like a hobby or yeah, it's, a, it's more a it's, it's more of a hobby. Like it'd be awesome to be a job, but mm. it's just not. <laughs> yes. you know, who's gonna who's gonna pay? It's not really viable yeah. anyway. And I and if, if if someone said, oh, if a cha- if a if a like a New a radio station, not radio station. Sorry, a uh, TV station. Yeah. Said, oh, we want to get you guys in the show. Yeah. And then we're going to pay you for it, but you have to do it this way. Right. And it, you know, yeah. it came off the like the wrong way. It looked fa- you know, mm. like Ghost Adventures, where it's sort of yes. it's, it's more for entertainment. My biggest problem with that show. Yeah. It's like sure, <laughs> it, it's some stuff in it could be legitimate, but because of how it it, it goes, like a lot of screaming, lots yeah. of yeah, it taints everything. Yeah, it sort of makes it a bit. Uh, yeah. But I wouldn't I wouldn't accept money if it if it. If it if it made it look like that because it's right. not legi- it doesn't look legitimate, yeah. it just looks like you're trying to fake everything, right. and that's what we don't want. We're not faking anything. Yeah. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, now speaking of conversations with dead people, yes. Um, your uh, psychic medium. Tell, tell us a bit about him. He's he's a new member of the team. Okay. So, but he's he came from Victoria, so he's okay. he's, an, he's not Tasmanian. <laughs> right. And uh, <laughs> he used to do stuff at Pentridge, I think, as well, Pentridge Prison. And he used to run tours up there okay, as well. And okay. he came down here yeah. and he's like, oh, yeah, you want a hand doing this stuff? We're like, yeah, sure. And he, he did the haunted haunted store with us. Okay. Um, mm. We haven't had any many other cases. He didn't come with the guys in theatre just because right. uh, he was busy at the time. Busy at the right. time so mm. We haven't had a lot of experiences with him because he's okay. a new member of the team. But what we did uh, get from him on that one investigation was... We let him, we tested him because okay. you've got to be very careful when you're getting Indeed. new team members, especially psychic mediums because it's like a lot of people say um, I'm sensitive and all that sort of stuff. And, that, and that's not saying they're lies or anything like that, but you've just got to sort of vet them out a little bit just right. to, you don't want to have, you don't want to record them and they're saying a whole lot of stuff and then your equipment's saying something totally different. It's like, yeah. oh no, we've got something that's contradicting. Right. Um, but we got him to go through the entire house, say what he feels and what he thought was there. And then we use the equipment. Um, a comp, um, in accumulation with that sort of thing so we're using Ben Ben's really good with the dousing rods we, we like the dousing rods quite a lot um, they're basically I think everyone's heard of dousing rods where they're nicely used for water so right yeah. now you probably if you move that direction it might right. do something yeah. weird um, yeah. <laughs> but we're using our bits of equipment to confirm what he was saying basically right. and we sort of it confirmed it quite well like what he was saying fitted what we the were data. getting on our, on right. our instruments yeah. um, EMF uh, not so, so much spirit box he, but yeah. he passed that check yeah, he passed that sort of check, okay. and then it was just—it was just the yeah. I think that was the biggest thing. He yeah, really had to check because, right, as well as we had to ask other people about who this person get a was. reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we we did because he approached you. Yeah, yeah. Right. It, yeah, and that's what I, I think okay. I initially um, said. Oh, do you, can you give me any references? <laughs> so it's not like it's not a job, but you just got to be yeah. careful. Like, yeah, are uh, you yeah. pulling my leg? Yeah, um, exactly. And so, how does it how does it work for him? What's his? How does he pick up on it? I actually don't know. It's it's. He's, I've asked him that, but he says it's more like a feeling. It's like sometimes images okay. in his head. 
yeah. sort of thing. And then, so it's not like a, a spiritualist medium who has the ghost appear to them and tell them, listen, the, 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 the key to the chest is on a pillow. <laughs> You've got to tell my wife. No, he, I think, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I think he gets, I think he just, he said it was, he gets sort of images. Okay. No, so not like there's someone right in front of me right now and they're right. telling me everything. He gets sort of, hears them, gets images, but it's never like a full on right. image or okay. like solid I know, person, I mean, yeah. Right. So that's that's how he gets it, yeah. and and it's it seemed to work. I'm I'm always skeptical, but it seemed that the he was, whatever he was saying was what our instruments were getting as well. Yeah. Mm. And for me, that's that's as that's as probably good as I want to get at the moment yeah. until something else happens where they contradict each other. Right. Although when things do contradict each other, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. It could be multiple spirits in there communicating with him, yeah. communicating with the instruments. It could be three, four, right. ten. Right, really, yeah. And, and that, that's, that's happened before it's, where we've been on investigations. We've had two people with the astronauts who like doing a bit of experimentation. It seems like things. almost overwhelming yeah. um, the, the challenge to, to nail this stuff down and yep. As and get verifiable phenomena That's recorded. that's that's why when you said, what's the paranormal or what's about a ghost? Right. It's like, oh, God, here, I could, here's a, Book. So you could, you could be here all day, right. yeah, That's just trying right. to rattle through it, all every really single broad. thing. Right. Yeah. All right. So you got your your Facebook page, and that's yep. the main point of contact that people have got to see your work and, and communicate with you guys. Yeah. Um, you're happy for people to come in and debunk on the comments yeah, no, section. That's, oh, that's yeah. Fine. yeah. If, if, yeah, they, so they like to do whatever they like. About. Yeah, that's what the page is for. We set up initially just for that reason, right? And then we expand upon that with us going around doing stuff and bringing stuff, yeah, and they can was, debunk it. But yeah, they can they can mm. debunk as much as they like. They can right. say that you're full of crap, but yeah. and and they they can do that if they like. That's yeah. we're all, all up for that. Sort right. of that would thing. just make us go back to that location yeah. and, and then test that theory, right? Yeah, and they, then come back. With yeah. the we're always trying to always always encouraging people to really get involved with the page, and if they have a, uh, like a better a better way or they think it's a better way of investigating. They can tell us we'll go do it all. Right. Who knows? If Brilliant. We, yeah, yeah. So. And so you put up episodes. Tell me about your, your episodes. Which but, ones? <laughs> uh, uh, what, what was that? How many have you got up? Oh, oh we got, God! Well, I got to look at the YouTube have channel. Quite a, bit I, now. Quite a few. Although yeah. we've got better as we've uh, got more experience because right. we, we yeah. come from backgrounds where we don't do uh, professional editing in our videos. Yeah. <laughs> so it's got. It's oh, we recommend the, the newer spot, ones. Really. Right. Um, but yeah, um, we've got quite a few now, and they've all got the little subcategories, so it's easily accessible. Um, yeah. We've got haunted hotels. I think is one of them. We've got tons on Willow Court. There's so many right. in that yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Right. right. Um, for people just to go through and go. Cool, yeah. Right. So these are these are historical homes with a bit of historical history to them. Not just the if you're not just mm. into ghosts, you can get into. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. yeah. well, I try to do because I come from a history background, so you you need to do a ton of history. Okay. I love history. Right. Um, and I try to put a bit of history in it at least, if not do a, a bit of an, a short episode on the brief history of the place, so yeah. people can just go. Oh, I don't like the ghost side so much. I will just concentrate concentrate on the history and just go up to the videos. Just give them a bit of a look. So yeah, we right. try to. We like. I think another important thing is also knowing your location, which involves history. So we think they kind of go hand in hand, if that makes sense. But yeah, yeah people get to choose. Yeah, right. Yeah. Interesting. But just the more you know about the location, the more you can nail it down. Type thing. Right. The, the mm. more okay. specific questions you can ask. Yeah. To really. Yeah. Get into that type thing, yeah. Right, so history is important, accounting is important, data entry is very important. Uh, yeah, everything's yeah. important. Yeah. <laughs> Chasing ghosts, not so important. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yeah. Um, so now, just quickly, Michael McGee, is he full of shit? Oh, jeez. Um, I've heard some. I've heard tons of people go, he's he's a. Fu- <laughs> I've, heard, I've watched this Russian dude. He was like trying to debunk it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Russian dude. Yeah. yeah. Trying to debunk it, and like, oh. I, I just don't know. Mm. I, I like I, I again. I like oh, do, all, do I like to think it's it's real, but mm. I'm gonna mm. take a sort of stand back from it for a while. So the Russian guy was pretty convincing. He kind of was, but yeah. I'm not certain. But not uh, sure. Okay, let it. me ask you another one. Mellow Bird. I don't know Mellow Bird. Mellow Bird. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, well, sorry. he was a chap that came out with some very mm. intense phenomena that he filmed. Uh, he put it up, um, said it was all true, uh, yep. and. Um, and was, and was willing to testify to that. Uh, he received such a massive backlash from YouTube uh, that it destroyed his channel and, and wow. destroyed his rep. But the problem is that the, the people who were debunking him were caught faking the debunking. <laughs> <laughs> right? Wow. Wow. Yeah. And they said that they, they came up with this story. We know who this guy is. He's a, um, a, co- a commercial advertising agency. He works for film production. None mm. of that was true. They actually went to the point where they built... 
a studio of his kitchen. Wow. And then showed <laughs> people that so they'd why, built. So why is it extreme? Like, that's so I, extreme. It was for... extreme, but the, the phenomenon, I recommend you check out Mellow Bird yeah, because I the phenomena he was recording was extreme. With, with, with extraordinary claims needs extraordinary evidence, but with extraordinary yeah. evidence comes extraordinary, uh, uh, that, <laughs> you know, what's the word? I'm looking for resistance. <laughs> and and that, that's one of the things I'm worried about. Like, if we ever capture something so extreme, mm. it looks so real that people are going to think it's so fake. Yeah. And that's one of the concerns. Like, when we, when we hopefully eventually catch, capture something that's so full on, it's going to be so, yeah. it's going to be criticized a but, lot. Well, that's what I call yeah. the Bigfoot curse. Yeah. You know, no <laughs> one's going to believe it if it's, unless it's fuzzy. And yeah. no one's going to believe it if it is fuzzy. Because yeah. if you get one straight up, it's not. It's, it's like, nah, it's fake. Someone in a suit over yeah. there. <laughs> I think somebody yeah. once also said the uh, Photoshop is the knife in the back of the of the paranormal investigator. <laughs> but, so, um, I don't know to work Photoshop. I don't know to work it. I don't know. <laughs> I, I can kind of do like. Um, stuff for our YouTube channel like and that's it I don't know how to edit people in the stuff and like so anyone who's concerned about our abilities to fake stuff it's like I, we can't do it we, if, we, if we try it looks so bad